in this video i show you guys 10 terraria mods that you need installed whether you're doing a playthrough or just having some fun checking out some new mods let's get to it so we're here with a little bit of a different video in terms of content you know i get a good bit of comments every day on each video always asking me like what mods am i using that aren't the main content mod in the videos and i'm gonna just let you know right now i got these mods installed pretty much 24 7. if you do what i do with modded terraria you need these mods installed pretty much yeah let's take a look here we're gonna go through all of these quality of life mods slash utility mods whatever you want to call them sort of explain what they do show what they do starting with this one plain and simple max stack plus 9999 allows you to stack pretty much everything that is allowable to stack obviously with the recent update of terraria this mod is probably not even going to be useful anymore or maybe they'll expand it to 90,000. same thing with the next mod here omni swing aka a mod for people that got Got bad wrists like me or people that just don't like clicking all the time this allows you to just hold left click and you're able to swing shoot do whatever without having to you know keep on pressing it over and over again and again with the recent terraria update they pretty much added in omni swing to the game the next mod we got here which mod is this from very self-explanatory you put your mouse over an item it tells you what mod it's from for example i'm in game here and i got the consolario mod installed boom add it to our inventory we put our mouse over it as you can see it says it's from consolaria you got a vanilla item you know it's a vanilla item because it doesn't say anything after that we have the cheat sheet mod this is my bread and butter the same thing with the heroes mod up here but yeah these are my bread and butter in terms of these are what i use to spawn things in these are what i use to change the time of day let's hop into a world and let me just show you guys all the features all right we are in my journeys mode world here and as you can see at the bottom we got these two arrows i have it binded to a key for one of them to come up but yeah we click on these we got our cheat sheet menu and we click on this we got a heroes mod menu let's go over the cheat sheet one this is how i spawn in items and bosses boom we got the item browser you can literally see every item installed and if you have mods installed you could cycle through them here and you can see each modded item it cycles through mods too so say if i had calamity installed i click on this it would say calamity mod and i can see everything in the calamity mod obviously i don't have anything installed so we're not going to see too much but yeah same thing goes for bosses enemies everything town npcs you could spawn them in all here as you can see I spawn in some zombies, spawn in some hornets, and then also you can spawn in enemies. And if I right click, those enemies are completely disabled from spawning it. So if there's ever an enemy you want to whitelist from a playthrough, say you're playing expert mode and you hate lava slimes, boom, gone. Again, you can also cycle through mods, but I don't have any mods installed right now. And you can filter out all the NPCs, see the ones that I stopped from spawning in. Very useful, very helpful. That's how I do everything in terms of spawning bosses and items when i do the videos it also comes with a recipe browser you know a lot of people ask me like game breakers why do you use cheat sheet instead of just recipe browser it's because i've been using cheat sheet since like 2016 2017 since this thing came out and i'm loyal i'm loyal to my people i don't know about y'all you know y'all be hopping from youtuber to youtuber but i'm loyal to my people i'm loyal to cheat sheet that's why i still use it and then there's extensions here so you can actually install more stuff to mess with we got a clear menu we could clear all dropped items clear projectiles clear buffs clear debuffs you see all these dropped items on the floor gone we got this thing the paint tool is actually really unique say if i wanted to copy something right i really like this 100 right here say if i want to copy it we take this eyedropper we go like this boom and as you can see it's right there we have a selected and look at this i just added more 100s beautiful <laughs> if you ever wanted to copy a bunch of things there you go that's how you do it they got a couple other things you can do like flipping things undoing things after that we got extra accessory slots here so if i click this you can see we get a bunch more accessories it goes up to what like six we got a vacuum so say if i drop this on the floor and then i click on the vacuum boom it goes right back into my inventory the vacuum will actually suck up things all around the world so say if you went on like a caving adventure broke a bunch of pots in the jungle you come back here you use the magnet it literally will suck up everything in the world that's on the floor after that we got an npc butcher that kills a bunch of npcs we can kill friendly ones hostile and friendly or just hostile ones we got waypoints say i need to go to the dungeon here i am say i need to go to hell i'm here say i want to go to a random point look i could go literally anywhere 
after that we got a spawn rate multiplier and then we got a minion slot boost so we can have plus 20 minion slots and right here we can configure everything here if we want to add in like god mode boom if we want to add in something or take something away we can just click on it and it's gone it is very good very useful i accidentally took something away and i don't know what it was i think it was the vacuum there you go now with the heroes mod i have it installed along the cheat sheet mod because it adds in even more options i could do it has its own item browser which this one might be a little bit more uh organized and detailed than the cheat sheet one it has infinite reach so i can reach very far away it has enable fly camera where I can literally just fly the camera around. It doesn't matter what my character is. We got this right here, which enables and disables enemy spawns. We can clear items on the ground. We could change the time of day. We could add sandstorms. We could add rain. We got waypoints that we could add all around the map. We got a mob spawn window. We got a buff window, which we could add any buff in the, the amount of time of the buff. We got a prefix editor, so we can reforge things. We got a regions window. Check tile for last modification. View connected players. Misc options, which I do use a lot. For example, I use reveal map a lot, which reveals the whole entire map. I also use this one. Light hack. See how it's dark down here? I turn this up, boom, I can see everything. We can ban destructive tools, disable gravestones, open group management, and then we can even add in more extensions and stuff. And we can even log in, because I believe there's a whole like login system, something. There's a, there's, it can get really, really technical and detailed. But yeah, that was the Heroes mod and Cheat Sheet mod. I guess I should go over the Recipe Browser mod. This is the mod you installed if you don't want to have cheat sheet or heroes mod actually i don't think heroes mod has a recipe browser but yeah you install this mod because you know it's for the people that have or need a recipe browser for when they're playing the game there's a lot of cool things you can do with it like you can see what enemies drop you can search up certain drops from enemies it's, it's very good to have alongside a bunch of other quality of life mods especially for somebody that doesn't remember every single recipe and when you play with a bunch of mods you're definitely not going to remember every single recipe all right the next mod here we'll probably just group a bunch of mods here so i don't have to log in and out of the world but we got the auto trash mod which this one fairly self-explanatory say you hate picking up certain blocks or items all the time for example you see in the icon there's dirt you could add items to the auto trash and every time you come across that item it will automatically be trashed plain and simple gem to gem is a gem conversion mod or excavator is a great mod for mining ores as i will show in game boss checklist fairly simple right let's hop in game and check out these remaining ones all right i'm gonna drop a bunch of dirt on the floor here okay we're gonna drop a bunch of dirt and then i'm gonna add dirt to the auto trash list which is the left side as you can see if i click on this i can see a list i can remove things if i accidentally added something i could also pretty much just turn it off so i don't have to worry about auto trashing things but yeah i have it auto trash so now look when i walk over it it should just send it straight to the trash very useful for big mod playthroughs where you know a lot of mods installed just start filling up your inventory especially with items you don't really need but yeah next one is the gem to gem mod this one very very useful could low-key be considered cheating but technically all mods are considered cheating but yeah say if i needed a certain gem i go to a anvil here and as you can see i could turn my rubies into diamonds i could turn my diamonds into emeralds it's pretty much a gem conversion mod anytime you need a certain gem or you specifically only want a certain gem say i only wanted ambers boom this is the perfect mod for it there's a lot of mods like it that exist it's always nice to have one of these uh this is more of a regular playthrough mod rather than like a showing off content mod so do keep that in mind but that's 100 percent a mod i use in regular playthroughs all right up next the ore excavator mod this one should be fairly self-explanatory if you ever played minecraft and used any mods similar to it you know that these mods are lifesavers in terms of time you go ahead you bind a button let's say uh, there you go mouse five is what i got binded and when i mine it says excavating i let go of that mouse you know i could just mine one piece at a time but i hold down that mouse button look at that i can excavate a whole entire vein i'm underground here it's a little dark i'm underground here look gold give me that copper give me that iron give me that you can even add blocks like dirt and stone so if you really want to just tear apart the world and mine a bunch of things you could super useful quality of life mod again another must have for a playthrough last but not least i believe unless i missed one here is the boss checklist super self-explanatory it's just a checklist of bosses it has them in the order that you fight everything 
including mini bosses and events and 90 percent of the time modded bosses will be on here in the correct order you're supposed to fight them it also lets you know when and where and what to use to fight them which is super useful especially for modded bosses is like i run into a modded boss that i've never fought before it tells me i fight it in the ice biome at night using this item and it could be super useful for big mod pack playthroughs but yeah these are pretty much must have terraria mods you need installed at all times if you do playthroughs and do things the way i'd be doing them you know checking out mods and stuff and yeah just general playthroughs where you need some quality of life stuff there obviously is a lot more mods that i probably do use in playthroughs and stuff so honestly i can make another part of this you guys in the comments though leave some suggestions of quality of life mods and other utility mods that you use in play Throughs, for example like louis afk alchemist npc you know those are some other mods that i use but you guys let me know you might have some that i don't know but yeah thank you everyone for watching i'll see y'all next time